I would like to, uh, my students to, um, to, to know that this language is not so hard as they picture it. And this language is not for the smartest person in the world to learn it. Actually, everybody can do it. So if you will think about a human baby, uh, when they were born, they listen first, um, then they learn to talk back, remember those times? And then they will start to read um, before they go to school. And then they will learn how to write starting first grade. So this is my order from listening, speaking, and reading, then writing. So um, once they know that they can listen to me, they can try to understand me, and they can actually speak after at the end of the presentation and give them the boost on the confidence level. And they, everybody can do Chinese. The most difficult part to learn um, Chinese as a foreign language, I personally think is the speaking part because Chinese is a tonal language. Chinese, we have four tones, or some people will say five tones. Um, so it actually will be going up, um, down, um, up and down, or flat. In tonal languages, that you, you actually need to do that for each word you say. If you get the tone wrong, um, it definitely had come up with a different character, different meaning. So for example, um, ma, M-A, the sound sounds like ma, but if you put it a flat tone, it's ma. This sound uh, will give you a mother meaning. But if it goes up, ma, that will give you the numb meaning. If you go down and up, ma, this, this character will give you horse. And if it goes down, ma, then it will give you the yelling, scolding, um, not so good. It's awkward in the beginning, but once they get used to it, um, actually they can speak very authentic Chinese with the tones. <laughs> Learning um, to write a Chinese character could be very challenging. So they learn about the strokes and they learn about the characters and Chinese actually is very logical. And it's a picture, so most of my students will say, I'm drawing Chinese. And I'll say, no, this is not drawing. This is called writing. And I will tell them the story, how does this one come to this way? And they will remember the story as they write the character, the character I, 我, okay. So the 我, I am the first person. And ancient time, if you are survived, of the nature of the animals attacked, you can probably say, I, I am the one speaking. So this word character is a person, you know, with a hand holding a spear. So that is the story for the students to recognize. And there's a spear on the right hand side. So this character together uh, makes 我, which means I, and they will be able to um, repeat and writing it and thinking about these fun stories I tell them. Um, of course, I would introduce them some of the uh, fun thing about writing because Chinese writing is an art and we would do calligraphy to let them um, re experience what, what is the life like in ancient Chinese when we are not using pen and pencil, we're using pen brushes. Um, they do know the story behind that. And that's the fun part of learning this character. If it's not fun, I don't know how, who is gonna do, do the learning and since it's so difficult. I think that foreign language um, could teach us a lot of not only the study skills, your study strategies, also um, their life lessons. The more you understand other people's language, you could bridge the gap, the different um, cultural differences. And um, 
I remember um, the most the most famous quote from Nelson Mandela is that when you um, talk to a person in the language he understands, that goes to his head. But if you talk to a person in the language that he know his own language then that goes to his heart my final advice for people who are consider um, taking this language first i would say break your stereotype um, thinking in chinese is hard but not that hard i like to do immersions because i i believe that learning a foreign language the environment is the most important factor create for yourself some um, speaking environment for example um, there are many um, youtube videos short clips um, there are chinese music if you like certain artists talk to people who knows how to speak chinese and if you making this speaking part of your daily life you don't feel like you're learning Chinese you actually feel like you're enjoying Chinese and I think the aha moment is what I value the most and they would start to uh, uh, figure it out and figure it out and they they get it and I think if you get it you make connections at the end this knowledge is yours to keep forever